So today we're gonna to be talking about how to build custom autoresponders for those that fill out your online forms through JotForm. Okay, first things first, let's start with what an example might be. So in our community, we have made these autoresponders that are sent out to sponsors and to candidates when they are signed up on our website. And I'm gonna just show you right here, this is a sponsor email that is sent out. I had a candidate that signed up just a couple weeks ago, and this is the automatic email that all sponsors get. And what is great is we can really toggle and control what sponsors can see. So here we have the reminder that you need to get their candidate letters, that if they have any kind of special dietary needs, this is what they need to bring. Remember, no watches, no cell phones, and just a little bit more of like the enrollment process and what that takes. And then in a nice, easy to use format, we have data tags set up that have all of the candidates uh, information so that you can start doing that letter gathering. And then all the times to show up, all the closing times, what they should pack, the directions there, and then the, uh, the flow, what you can kind of say to the candidate, and then of course the emergency contact that you would leave behind with the candidate's information, um, with the candidate's spouse, or loved ones, if there's an issue, this is who you should call, this is who you should get in contact with. So I'm going to include the code for this email in a link at the bottom of this video so that you can start not from scratch, but build from what I have already built. And of course, you'll go in and edit up to your community standards and your community's information. This is just a baseline, and I think it's way easier to edit code than to start from scratch. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to create this email in JotForm. So I'm going to go to my JotForm account, and I'm going to click on our women's candidate form, and I'm going to click edit form. Then I'm going to click up here on this middle button, it says settings, and I'm going to click on the left hand side where it says emails. And then, as you can see, I have two different emails here. Now, let's say I didn't have this email set up. I would click on this plus sign to build an email, and I would click on an autoresponder. So the difference is an autoresponder is sent to the person who fills out the form, where a notification email is sent to someone see what the form says. So the notification email would go to your pre-weekend team, to your media team, to whomever, your database person. The autoresponder goes to the person that actually filled out the form. So I'm gonna click on autoresponder, and by default it pulls the whole form, but I don't want that, right? I want my custom email that I've made up, and I'll show you how to do that, but the recipients is who I wanna indicate here. So I'm gonna click on recipients, and the recipient email will be the email of my sponsor which is a custom field that I've made. So sponsor email address is who I want that to go to. I'm gonna hit save before I do anything. I'm gonna go back into it, and this little bracket area means your source code. So I'm gonna click on that. It pops up this for me. I'm gonna delete it all out, and then I'm gonna take that custom code that I said I'll put in the bottom of this video for you guys. I'm gonna paste it in, I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so there's my email. And then if I wanna make any changes to this, I could go back into the code and change the coding. Or for those that don't know HTML, you can literally just type right in here. And you can change fonts, you can bold things if you want, you can underline things. Really, you can do a lot of cool stuff. You can change the fonts, you can change things. You can change the image like this is our downtown shot. You probably want a shot that is unique to your community. You would of course update your community contact information. These are just things to get you to start thinking about cool ways to engage with your sponsors and then remind them of their duties, if you will, on the weekend, post weekend, all throughout their fourth day. And that is your two minute training.